Hello and welcome back, beautiful soul. This is the Angel Lady Terry Marie, your host for Angels Success Prosperity podcast series. And last time we shared a bit about our journey, how all of this got started. And I'll just do a quick recap in case y'all haven't had a chance or you missed it. It was how I got started giving readings and doing energy healings and really tapping into my gift or skill of connecting with angels that got me to where I am today and will take me even further down on my own path and my journey. Started um, needing something to help ground me at my day job and I've been on my own now for just about eight years. At the end of July will be eight years. So everything turned topsy-turvy in about 20 minutes one afternoon in late July of 2010. So what I had been sharing a little bit about was how I got started channeling angels consciously every single day between two and a half and three years an angel message every single day i had this small um perpetual calendar and i started off by sending a quote you know typing it out and emailing it to six people by the time i got done there were 300 people receiving the daily angel message before there was a business, before I knew I was going to be doing all of this work, <laughs> you know, it was just, oh my gosh. So after that got, had gotten started, I had applied to be a vendor at the El Paso Psychic Fair with um, lotions, um, potpourri, and essential oil blends. All the essential oil blends were angel for angels, um, chakra, Reiki. Um, we had some topical treatments. Some of my girlfriends started saying, hey, can you whip me up something for tension headache? You know, I've got these huge tension headaches, and I'd really like some help, some natural things, and I know what you do or you're starting to do. Can you make me something? Absolutely. So we developed, we, Angels and Spirit and I, developed a line of organic essential oils in jojoba oil for topical treatments, for tension headache, which also helped um, relieve migraines, uh, hormone balance, uh, let's see, what were some of them? Something about joints, I don't remember all the names out of the top of my head, but um, my boss at the time, when I was an administrative executive assistant, for a local law enforcement agency, a federal agency down here along the southwest border. I'm currently living in El Paso, Texas. And I promised him it didn't wouldn't smell girly. <laughs> so I gave him a small amount and he was really amazed at how well it worked. I think there were probably like eight different um, blends for, diff for specific things. So hormone balance, um, tension headache, joint, relief or something like that. I don't remember the name. Anyway, so we were doing that and then um, doing body lotions and shower gels. And at some point, it's like, okay, so you know what, I, I want to make my own face creams, no makeup, but there were beauty creams for eyes, hands, um, and the face. And I used my own products for a very long, long time until it was time to move on from that. Also got into some crystals and whatnot, started selling those and learning about those. And I was doing this at the El Paso Psychic Fair. And what this is leading up to is I had was starting my business and I was giving readings on the side and doing energy healings from my home, Reiki healings. Then one day, I'll back up a little bit. I had the work environment had changed drastically. My boss, who hired me, went on to get a different position and a promotion, and that left his spot open. And that next person, let's just say, whew, 
this is a little bit tough. Um, it was it was a hostile work environment. I was invisible. Uh, my coworkers saw what was going on, and even the corporate higher ups came down and did an investigation, and nothing really nothing really changed. And the contract was coming to an end for all of us. The positions were being um, converted into uh, government employee GS positions. And so about two months before the end of the contract, I was called in the supervisor's office one afternoon and said that the layoffs had begun. And someone I had trusted, not the boss, of course, not this one, had thrown me under the bus. And I understand that because she was saving her own position. Anyway, so in a matter of 20 minutes, and I had been applying to jobs for positions, and I have never, ever had an issue getting something. You know, you, you don't get everything you apply for, but I had applied for 36 different positions inside of, I think it was three or four months, because I knew that I needed to make a change, so I had started to do my own work, right? I talk about doing your own part, you manifest, you do the prayer work, you do prayer visuals, you call in your guides, angels and spirit, and then you get to do your part. So I had been doing my part. Well, within 20 minutes, my whole world turned upside down because my plan was to continue to save money to start <laughs> being on my own for another two and a half years. Well, it didn't work out that way. And on the way home, um, I was crying and screaming and I was letting out all this anger and I was terrified. I had some money set aside, but I didn't know what I was going to do. I didn't know how to transition from what I had been doing. I had no advance notice and most often we don't when things suddenly change in spirit and angels, are, okay, this is changing now. You've got to get out. And so I had been doing my part, like I said, I had been applying and nothing, nothing. I did have some interviews, but I didn't get past the initial round. So luckily, luckily I had already planned on going out of town to another uh, event in, I think it was Midland or Odessa in Odessa, Texas, Odessa or Midland, I don't remember which one it was. This is like eight years ago. So I started talking to myself as soon as I had cried enough to get out some of the fear and it's like, OMG, now what do I do? How do I transition what little I had been doing part-time to now doing this full-time? I had no blueprint, I had no plan, I had no idea, I had no guidance and all of a sudden I was out on my own. That's it. Yes, the angels were with me and it's like, okay, so now what? Well, after I got home, the next day I uh, was told by that supervisor, the one that made, made things so pretty much impossible and other people saw that I was invisible. He would walk into a room and talk to my coworker about me and have my coworker relay a message to me and I was standing right there. That's how That's how ugly it was. So I was laid off and within 24 hours of being laid off from that position, I was then fired and a letter expressed delivery that I was not rehirable. Do you think that was a sign? I'm smiling about it now, but it was incredibly traumatic. It was horrible. I didn't know what I was going to do. Thankfully, I had that event. So I just said, okay, I have a day, an extra day to prepare. And I get to leave earlier the next morning. Um, and I don't have to, and I'll be more rested. So thankfully, some friends were around and I just, you know, told them and I got some support. And when I got back from the event that Sunday afternoon or Monday, 
I was having lunch with my mom and dad and I told them what had happened. And my mom looks at me and she says, well, I think that's your sign to start doing what you're doing full time. Now, back then, the relationship with my mom and dad was good, but they were still bumpy and they didn't really get what I was doing. Heck, I didn't know what I was doing either. So I started doing more readings and more healings and, you know, figuring things out and taking classes online, figuring out what a blog was, setting one up, starting social media, la la la, writing articles. Oh my gosh, you know, it was like, all of a sudden, it, I hit the ground, not running, but I hit the ground flying. <laughs> I opened up my wings and I started flying and made lots of mistakes along the way. A few years later, I started hosting telesummits. And this one particular telesummit, it was supposed to have been the intention and the, the idea was to help people start or grow their spiritual businesses or their businesses along the, with their spirituality. And it ended up being more about business than it was the blend. And I thought, well, okay, this is the, this is the, focus that it's taking. This is the path that it's going. I'm just going to go with it. I had nearly everyone's interview recorded. I had things just about set up. And all of a sudden, the laptop that I had died. And it took everything with it. Everything that I had worked on and built and written and everything was gone. Everything was gone. My webmaster at the time helped me, you know, he reset my laptop and we got it going. And as soon as I started to work on that telesummit again, it died. Again. So after the third time, I finally got the message that I was not to be doing anything with that particular telesummit. I was to stop. It was going down the wrong path. I was going away from what I was supposed to be doing, which was focusing on helping my clients connect to angels and to spirit and to you know, expand spiritually and to help balance the universal laws of giving and receiving and to believe in themselves, to know that they're worthy and deserving and they can have both financial success and spiritual growth doing what they love, doing what they know they're here to do, or even to help start them figuring, help them start figuring it out, right? Their purpose, because some people don't know, they just know they're here to make a difference. They want to help others, but the how hasn't quite gotten really clear yet. <sighs> then about a year, maybe two years, actually it was that same year, it was um, three years ago, so 2015, Everything stopped. The laptop died and it took all the information. I mean, everything with it. The book that I had been working on at the time, it was um, uh, Sacred Angel Realms, A Pocket Guide into Nine Angelic Hierarchies. It was just about done being channeled. And I had been, I write everything down in a notebook in pencil. That's how I channel at my favorite coffee shop with Pandora earbuds <laughs> or earbuds playing my Pandora stations. And I just channel the angels and I just go to work and, and, you know, we write these books that I'm guided to write for them or with them. And that was gone. Every with it was gone. Thankfully I still had the notebook that I had everything written in. So I went, okay, I can, you know, rewrite you know, retranscribe onto um, Word documents. And then I remembered I had sent off the first four chapters to someone else to do some editing. And I had posted a few of the sections of different chapters on my blog. I said, okay, so I can copy and paste those. So I was able to recover everything that I had transcribed up to that point. 
And as I was getting back into where I was supposed to go, the angels showed me where I had actually saved information that I was to have kept. Now, somewhere in this, my business tanked. So that meant my income tank because I had started going down the wrong path. And I was in a, in a position of rebuilding everything, literally everything from the bottom up. So that meant pretty much no income. So I gave the house back to the bank because I could no longer afford to keep it. And that was really tough because I was the first woman and my mom, my dad, my sister. So the three women in the, in the household. I was the first and only one to get a house on her own, so it was it was pretty devastating. Um, and it happened in the same month, not the same year, but the same month. So in 2010, I was laid off and within 24 hours fired from that position that I had for nine years and sent a letter saying I was not rehirable. Okay. So, you know, we worked through that and it, it took a while. It took about six months for me to actually finish doing the healing and forgiveness work from that part. And then along comes 2015, five years later. And now the house that I had and had worked hard to keep and keep up, I had to give up. So I went through financial restructure. I went through bankruptcy. Yep, I did. I have a new home. I have a beautiful apartment. I love being here. And has it always been easy? No, no. What were some of the challenges? Who am I? What are people going to think? How am I ever going to make money doing this? I know this is what I'm supposed to be doing, but how am I supposed to do that? How do I get the message out? How do I express it and say it and write about it in such a way that people get what's in it for them. How do I reconcile this huge vision when I can't even figure out how I'm going to pay the rent? That was my thinking. How do I, you know, people talk about starving artists and starving musicians. Well, what I do is even more out there or more woo woo or woo woo <laughs> out on the edge and so how do you how do you do that little by little step by step lots of falling down lots of i'm not doing this anymore i quit and during that time when i knew i had to i had a choice and i was choosing to give the house back it was i had just come out of a five week and i'm not exaggerating a five week dark night of the soul everything had changed nothing was working and it wasn't just feeling like it wasn't working it wasn't working anymore it was such a dark night in a dark place i didn't think i would ever see the light of day again i didn't think i'd ever see the light and it was a long road Three years later, I am stronger, I am clearer, I know what I am here to do beyond a shadow of a doubt, I have stepped into my value, I am owning it more every day, I am showing up more powerfully in some of those days, you know, I take a break and I step back and I don't do anything. So that's where we leave this part of my journey. I worked on my mindset. I've done a lot of deep healing work. I have read a lot of books and I practice and I walk my talk and I talk my walk. What's the difference? A lot of people will say, well, you need to do X, Y, Z, elemental P, one, two, three, nine times, nine, eight, ten, right? Some of them actually do that themselves, and some of them don't. Judgment? No, it's a truth. What I teach my clients, I have done for myself for years. 
my clients get results and I get results for myself. There are different tools and techniques and strategies, if you want to call them that, that I use because not everything works all the time. You're in a different vibration, you're in a different mindset, and so different pieces get to work for you. And maybe it's a combination of tools, singing bowls, ohm CD, meditation, clearing, sage smudge, sage smudging, <laughs> incense burning, salt baths, physical exercise, taking a step back. Sometimes you get to do all of that. Sometimes you get to do one or two pieces. And then you get to mix it up because some things you're just not, it, it's not feeling right. It's not resonating in that moment. So what do you do? You pick from your list, from your toolkit, your toolbox, your spiritual toolbox, especially if you're an empath. And that's where we'll leave it for the moment. And we'll be back again real soon. Please do stop by and visit us us, Angel Spirit and I, at angeldreamteam.com and get your free gift if you haven't already, Angels Success Prosperity, Become a Mover and Shaker of Your Reality. And we'll talk with you again real soon. Bye-bye for now, beautiful soul, and thank you for being here. Please share this. Invite your friends to join us, to follow, and leave some comments if you so choose.